so this first exercise, just regular lap pull down. We do have a, uh, a different type of attachment here where it seems to oscillate a bit. I'm assuming to help activate more muscle fibers. But here we're just trying to basically get warm at the top, releasing the scapula and getting a good stretch. And for me, you might notice I only bring it down to about my chin level, otherwise I just feel like I'm over overextending and working more more my biceps than my back. But this is just to get the blood in there before we move on to other stuff. How I find it work best is go ahead and get set up like you're gonna pull, get down. Now, bend the bar. No, no, don't pull it. Just bend the bar in. Like, like you're trying to bend it like this. Okay. Don't let that bend come out of the bar. So do your flat. Do your flat. Don't let the bar unbend. So keep the tension on the bar bending. Which puts way more tension on the last. Yep. Okay. So we, we're, we got warmed up over there. This is technically my secondary back workout, so I don't usually go real crazy just looking to get a pump. Um, but I'm at Elite FTS, so I have to train a little harder. The standard dumbbell rows here, working more, I guess, of probably lower lat, maintaining good form. In terms of a training tip here, what I'm after really is to try to get the, the the longest range of motion possible. So even if you have to pause at the bottom briefly to really get that stretch and then try and drive the elbow back, obviously the heavier you get, your form's gonna be compromised a little bit, but if it's compromised to the point that you're just moving weight and not actually feeling the muscle working, then I would say you're better off to lighten it up and actually feel what you're trying to train. So this piece of equipment, I don't have at my gym, or actually I've never tried it anywhere else either. <clears throat> but I'm trying to work upper middle back, and so I did a set here and it felt great. So th that's basically what we're trying to work. The handles can rotate on this, but I'm trying to keep them in a pronate position and elbows up high to hit upper back. I wasn't sure if this exercise was gonna work out, but it did. The attachment I grabbed is mainly just so that I don't have to really be grabbing like a, a C or a, a D grip or, or whatever. Um, but it allows me to pronate when I stretch and then supinate as I pull the elbows in. And basically I picked this exercise because my back's pretty pumped at this point. So I want something that's gonna work the muscle through a long range of motion. So sometimes I'll do like dumbbell pullovers or I'll do this type of thing. And I picked this up actually from, I think Dante with True Nutrition came up with it. But the idea is to, to walk it back, put your knees into this and then really stretch forward and uh, get a good stretch through the lats and then supinate as you pull it in. The other thing versus like say a pull down where you would arch your back, this is one of the few back exercises where you actually want to round, uh, but you're in a safe um, position here. So it's not like I got a really bad lower back, but it doesn't bother me. So good, good exercise to kind of work in towards the end of the workout so that you get, get a stretch on the pumped muscle, which I think is, is both beneficial for recovery and for hypertrophy. So. All right, basically what we're gonna to try to do is we're gonna do a strip set using very close to the same weight, but we're gonna change where the weight's distributed around the wrist. So with the Thompson valves, it's gonna be evenly distributed around the hand. 
with the dumbbells it's going to be distributed throughout the hand on the sides and with the kettlebells it's going to be below the hand. I have no idea how this is going to feel so it's going to be an experiment. So that's really it. <laughs> he wanted something new so we're going to do it. Sounds good. We're aiming for eight. Six to eight but if you start arching I'm going to tell you to stop. Okay. That was good. It wasn't bad. This wasn't bad. But Did it feel different than it's a regular gonna, strip set? Like a regular drop Definitely set? different. Okay. All right. That's what I, we're trying to figure out. And the cumulative fatigue on this is yeah. going to be murder. Because really the weight's just about the same. Yeah. It's just where it's distributed. It's different. It just means it's going to seem light in the beginning and then yeah, it's going to okay. suck. Yeah. Keeping that bend in there forces you to keep the lat flex the whole time. Yeah. We're gonna go old school. We're gonna do face curls. Lying face yeah. down yeah, yeah. to your face. He's trying to get more of a contraction by taking it behind his head. <sighs> Where for most people, they just going to go to their forehead. That's why he's a pro and they're not. You're going to have to use an old lady, man. <laughs> open palm and then take it a little higher okay. here. Where that table's gonna pull, like that's good for me, it may not be too good for you. Okay. It's gotta be all bicep, not forearm. 